Okay, how's it going everybody and welcome back to Super AMV Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to pan and crop without using the pan and crop tool but instead using the video FX D form. And what you can use this for is when you have the 16.9 uh, format uh, source. Some people might want to change that into 4.3 seeing that they have another source that is better but they have to mix up sources that could be like if you're making an AMV with Naruto and you mix both the regular Naruto and Shippuden, or however you pronounce that, you might want to keep it at one aspect ratio so you don't get a picture that, well, literally looks... Let me illustrate. Uh, come on. Stop it. Something that... Okay. Definitely won't play with me right now. <sighs> oh, wait. Like this, yeah. You get, well, this is kind of extreme, but yeah, you get the idea. You get footage that has these uh, stretched looks. Um, if you go to properties and unmaintain the aspect ratio, you'll get this stretch footage that looks incredibly dumb. So what you want to do, um, if you have your clips, uh, you can fix it up like so. And um, the, the normal way you would do is go into pan crop, but uh, I'm teaching you how not to use it because some people like to add shakes on their videos and if they already edited uh, the footage in the widescreen aspect ratio and added shakes you up um, oh, hold on you might want to um, to keep the the shakes and not fuck them all up by uh, yeah this is very 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 slow shakes but still you get the idea you don't want to uh, go to every keyframe and uh, make the aspect uh, ratio 4.3 instead and change up the shakes so what you can do is go into deform and I have my little preset here and if I add it you can see here that it says in the amount uh, 0 0.341 300, sorry and uh, in squeeze you want to leave uh, left and right at 0 and top and bottom at minus 1 and this will give your footage the uh, correct look so it actually keeps its original uh, aspect ratio but still you cut away the edges that you don't want to see. You can also do this uh, vice versa with uh, uh, sorry, with 4.3 sources and make them into, um, into uh, hold on, let me just try to show you real quick. You can make uh, 4.3 footage into, um, into 16.9 uh, footage. And let's see here, I have some clips on my desktop somewhere. Uh, here we go, let's just take a random one. Perfect. And uh, of course, you have to change the properties. We'll just make it real. Uh, here we go. And you can see you got the black bars again. And once how you can you can change this once again, if you don't want to use the pan and crop tool and make it 16.9. So remove it. You can go into deform as well. And we can actually just add the preset we have. You know, it's kind of stretched. That looks dumb. So what you want to do is change on the top and bottom and do like this. And then you go into properties and maintain aspect ratio uh, on market and disable resemble and boom. You got widescreen footage out of 4.3 footage. And uh, yeah, a couple of, couple of nifty tricks you can use in order to fix up your source so uh, they don't mix up their aspect ratios because most editors find that really annoying to see footage that is all fucked up literally so yeah um cool little nifty thing to use deform it's a um what's called a standard whatever basic uh, fx in sony vegas so uh, you don't need to download any plugins or whatever it's uh, free to use so hopefully hopefully this little tutorial have helped you guys out um i've seen a lot of editors use footage that is all mixed up and i think it's really it's a it's a big shame because you can make better AMVs if you just fix up the aspect ratio even though you zoom in a bit and lower the quality. You should still be able to make a decent video if you just do it like this and don't literally use the pan crop and go all nuts in and making footage look really yeah. Look really stupid like this. Don't want footage like that. That just looks retarded. You can make it much prettier and way easier like this. And just to show you how the shakes can do, we can just make some real quick here. Let's just cut the footage real quick. 
Here we go. Okay, we got... Uh, and these are just random shakes. They're not really good at all. But you get the idea. I'll just copy-paste them. Yeah, really horrible freaking shakes here. But just to show how it works. And you can see it still has the uh, shakes on it. And you don't get to see the black bars anywhere at all. So uh, yeah, I hope this helped out a lot. And uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments and suggestions of what we should do next in form of tutorials. Because we are low on ideas. And we really want to help you guys out a lot. So uh, be sure to, to leave a rating as well. Because it helps out our channel into getting more known in the AMV community. And that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, my name is Casper. And I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching.